Hi, this is my very home built tricopter and I built this with a foam and wood and different speed controllers and a very very old servo. It's working great and it's the old KK board working great too and I flashed it with the latest tricopter firmware from the Norwegian Captain Cook. It's great. It's very stable. I love it. But as it is my first tricopter, I'm still very precautious with it. Because if I try any crazy stunts, I know I will crash. Actually, I want to flip it, but I think it will end very bad. I really want to try. I never tried flipping any of my multicopters. We can end this video by trying it. If I crash it, I'll just rebuild it, no problem. Some hot glue and stuff, everything will be fine again. And it is just very controllable, as you can see. And as the designer of this board said, if you ain't crashing it, you ain't flying it right. So hopefully we'll see a crash later. I like this one a lot, it's really flying great. And I tried uh, making a try. My second tricopter is already built, but it's with the KK2 board, and uh, I haven't been able to set it up flying like this. But it's smaller, maybe that's why. Actually, I built a quad and a dual copter and a single copter and uh, I built these tricopters too and by most, I like the tricopter by, mo by far it's uh, really the most agile and, and also the easiest one to orientate which way is it turning, pointing
and the yaw mechanism is working great. Oh, it's the battery. Yes, we got our crash. So that's great. I flew it right. Oh, and I lost the propeller too. But it was a soft crash, I guess. <laughs> How to get you down. Thanks. So, a new propeller and definitely a new battery will help. Thanks for watching. <laughs>